Hey everyone, it's Dr. Chuck back with another refrigerant checkup. And today I'm going to be answering some of your frequently asked questions, specifically around R54B, Option XL41, our replacement for 410A and new equipment. Uh, we get a lot of questions. We'd love to provide the answers to you. So if you have any that I don't cover today, please send them in and we'll make sure we get back to you. So starting off, the first question we get asked a lot is does R54B or XL41 contain propane? The answer is no. It never has, never will. Uh, the formulation is an R32 and an HFO 1234YF binary blend. Uh, that is defined by ASHRAE, those components. So again, no hydrocarbons, no propane, no butane, anything like that in the A2L454B. Next question is, can I use XL41 slash R54B in a 410A system? Again, the answer here is no. The 454B, like all the A2L refrigerants, are going to be used in equipment designed specifically for A2L mildly flammable refrigerants. And as such, it will have all the safety mitigation features and will be installed according to the codes and standards that are applicable. So again, 454B, new equipment only, not to be used in 410 systems. Um, we got a question around the oil. Does 454B use the same oil as 410A? The answer to that is yes. They're both going to be POE oils, same viscosity grades for the most part. And as far as we know, almost the identical oil. As always, refer to your compressor or your system OEM for the specifics. But again, POE oil, very similar to 410, if not exactly the same for 454B systems. Uh, do we charge liquid out of the cylinder with 454B as we did with 410A? That is correct. There is a slightly higher temperature glide, about 2 degrees F, uh, where 410 had a, about a 1 degree temperature glide. But again, best practices say that you want to take liquid out of the jug when you're charging it. Use the uh, dew point, we're setting superheat, uh, all of those good uh, practices we want to maintain as we go from 410A systems to 454B systems. Following up on that, a, temp a question we get a lot because of the temperature glide, is it okay to top off the system if it needs more charge in the field? And that is absolutely correct. We've done a lot of studies, uh, modeling as well as experimental studies. We're very confident in our recommendation that if you should need some more charge in your 454B system, you're okay to top that off in the field. Again, take liquid out of the jug, but that system will operate just fine. And finally, does 454B have a glide? Uh, yes, as I mentioned before, it has about a two degree glide. 410 was about one degree glide. Things like 407C, which we've used very successfully, have up to about a 12 degree glide. So. Uh, not something you should totally ignore, but a minimal impact. Again, you can top off if it leaks. You just take liquid out of the cylinder, and you should have no problems uh, adapting to the slight glide in 454B. So I hope these uh, questions, which we got frequently, uh, are something you know about or have found out about. But again, if you have any additional questions, please feel free to send them our way. Thanks again for your business, for following the channel, and uh, stay safe out there. Have a great day. So long.